All righty, so, <laughs> yeah, who this has been an interesting week. So, there's been a lot of back and forth about the VMAs and what's to come, and people are threatening a blackout. And I wanted to tap into what an alleged media or social media blackout would look like for the VMAs if this was to actually happen. Before I go any further, Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening, everyone. Let's get into some things. If there is a bar blackout, let's tap into what that would allegedly look like. Angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors of the highest heavenly order, show me what it would look like if there was a bar blackout for the VMAs. The VMAs are right around the corner. So let's see what the energetic pool is going to look like for the VMAs. Okay, so we've got the hermit, which is Definitely a blackout card because this is people deciding to be independent of the uh, VMA, staying away from the VMAs. Bottom of the deck is the hangman. Why is this a hangman? We've got the star and the four of swords. So, Lord, y'all, y'all know the star represents air sign and Aquarius, um, and things possibly you know coming to a halt being put to rest over a queen of wands <laughs> we know that nikki is the queen of wands she's a sagittarius temperance so they were trying to get balanced through a new beginning okay and this was supposed to entice people to watch But you got the Queen of Wands here. It's like they, they took a leap of faith, did things swiftly. So they, they feel like, you know, um, in the past, there was some behavior with Nikki where she may have taken a leap of faith and jumped into something or did something that they didn't want her to do, allegedly. And when you got the seven of the wands at the bottom of the deck, uh, someone feels very defensive over that type of energy. This king of wands, he didn't like. <laughs> Who, who's another fire sign, a Sagittarius? I'll let y'all fill in the blanks on that one. He didn't like, okay, some antics or behavior from the last VMAs, from the Queen of Wands. And this person is very high up on the food chain. They got powers that be to help them push this through, to inflict judgment. But it's actually going to bring karma because it's going to be a five of cups. It's going to bring shame, humiliation, deep regret. Because of this conflict and communication or harsh communication that was invested in. So they feel like, you know, Nikki's communication from the last BMAs was harsh and that, you know, she was abrasive. But this is going to backfire. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So you got the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. Um, literally, that's someone being ostracized. But in the long run, it's like she decides to do her own thing and focus on her own business ventures. And High Priestess is highly secretive information that is, everyone is not privy to, okay? So, 
Wow. This high priest has fallen under the four of swords. Secretly, y'all. Yeah. This is leading to a hangman that's going to help to possibly bring this star air sign to a rest. It's almost like, oh, wow. I'm hearing the word decommission. It's like they're doing it slowly but surely. And you've got this offer that came in to bring balance through a new beginning. Okay, so this was an offer that was brought to the VMAs that is going to bring a five of cups. It's going to bring a very heavy burden. It was meant to bring a five of pentacles to the queen of wands, Nikki. From some very, very high up people, the Hierophant. Because this this person feels like, you know, she cost him money in some type of way. Knight of Pentacles falling under the King of Wands. Notice this King of Queen of Wands literally right next to each other. It's like both holding court, both going back and forth with one another. Hold on, let me see if I can adjust this camera so y'all can see a little better, okay? Okay, Queen of Wands here, King of Wands here. They're they're right next to each other, literally going, you know, um, toe to toe. Due to past heartbreak or heartbreak in general. And his judgment was to force her to walk away from this commitment. People, places, and things walking away from a situation. And this harsh communication was, you know, it caused heartbreak. So somebody was very in their feelings. I mean, extremely in their feelings attached to the energy of last year's VMAs, of Nikki's performance, of things that were said, and they wanted to come back and humble her. But it's like, it's it's going to take a turn that they didn't expect, which is actually going to be a humbling experience for them. Queen of Swords, okay? So... It's actually, here, here's the weird part. The very person that they're meaning to build up out of this situation to bring new financial opportunities is going to ostracize them, okay? This queen of swords, this air sign. Due to this choice, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Lovers also represents choice. And the duality, you know, because it's Gemini. And you got the Ten of Wands. Now this is going to put, you know, um, a lot of burdens and hardship on um, Megan after the VMAs due to this choice, this decision, Two of Wands. You got temperance falling over the Knight of Cups and strength. So this offer was meant to bring, you know, strength and vitality to the company behind Megan that pushed for her, okay, the Hierophant, the powers that be, that pushed for her to be a part of this situation. And it was meant to bring a Five of Cups to the Empress who they meant to block money and opportunities from. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So a lot was invested in this due to, you know, teaching someone a lesson for what they felt was, you know, slowing things down for them or putting them in a situation to where they had to, you know, invest in 
you know, uh, outside means to balance things through Maleficent energy, the devil. What did I say? A lot of money was invested. Six of Pentacles, allegedly. A large amount of money was invested. Unearned money, possible money up under the table to make a situation uh, go away or make a person go away. And this person felt very, very deeply about this situation. This person didn't say anything publicly, but, you know, King of Cups is someone who literally can, you know, um, be simmering and feeling some type of way and not say anything about it. And King of Pentacles, okay? This person is a very wealthy and resourceful person. But now they have anxiety about how things are going to move forward for this Queen of Swords, because this is not what they expect. This is not what they expected, not what they anticipated. Pardon me, uh, King of Pentacles to the King of Swords. So, like I said, this very, very financially astute, stable individual whose word, okay, carries it carries a lot of weight came behind this situation to push this situation. But the interesting thing is you got a four of wands here and a high priestess. So this is like a secret plan. It, Y'all, I can't, I promise you I can't make this up. Justice. And you see how lightning is striking behind this person at unawares. They don't even see it coming. Almost feels... Uh, symbiotic with the tower it's like this is being gosh i gotta <laughs> as soon as i finish this reading i'm it, i'm not gonna say your name out loud but i'm definitely gonna dm you because we had a conversation and this is the answer to the conversation okay this is a secret plan okay to sabotage someone's career it's disguised as sabotage for Nikki, but it actually is sabotaging the very person that's being highlighted by taking shots at Nikki publicly. This is diabolical. Yeah, I would have never, I would have never thought that they would use this as a mechanism to kill two birds with one stone. But I'm seeing it here. Nine of Swords, okay? So there's going to be a lot of anxiety about what's to come because this is just turning into a tower overall. It did not work out the way that they expected it to. Why didn't it? looks like this turns into karma for these powers that be okay these hierophants due to justice falling in alignment with nikki and look at that when i tell you, you can't make this up the tower ends up falling under the very person who invested in this scheme to slow ball everything and to mess with her money and her appearance, the King of Wands, who's attached to the Queen of Pentacles. Get into it. Ten of Swords. Um, this ends up turning into a betrayal that backfires and goes right back to center. This is literally like a return to center for playing with somebody and affecting their work. This is pushing this queen of pentacles every single stunt to move further and further away to separate herself so that she can 
bring herself to victory because every time one of these things don't work, it also shines negatively on her. And she does not like to be seen in a certain light, especially when it comes to her career. Page of Cups. So now somebody's sorry because here it is, Ace of Cups. You're figuring out who actually has the pull due to the love of the public. But this is this is what does it for me. The Six of Wands. They want to move on swiftly and gracefully from this uh, air sign because it's turning into a hangman. Why? Secrets. Lots of secrets. Secrets that involve this emperor. Or, yeah, secrets that involve this emperor. Three of Wands. Blessings and opportunities still coming in as justice for the Queen of Wands, despite what these powers that be are involved in. And this emperor, this person that is in control, this person who runs everything, who has this tower coming. Y'all. <laughs> Behind the scenes, this person is fighting off a lot of energy that's bringing burdens his way due to his decisions, his choices. He's being cut off swiftly and aggressively due to the judgment that feels like... Um, it's coming out of a betrayal from people that are above him. The actual people that are, you know, the powers that be, allegedly. It's an end of a cycle. Five of Wands falling under the Queen of Pentacles. Um... They're doing a lot of fighting behind the scenes, and it also has to do with this swift, impetuous movement and behavior, and also this Knight of Wands energy, okay? Uh, possible, you know, alienation of affections, allegedly, okay? There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So I'm going to end this here, and this is my energetic pool on... What could possibly happen if there was an alleged blackout for the VMAs? Everybody have a wonderful day. Have a blessed <laughs> day. And uh, yeah, this, this right here just shows you if you stay in the light, you stay in proper alignment, things always work out for you no matter who is against you. This is the total, you know, um, the total energy of the touch not mine anointed, do my prophet no harm. You know, this is, you know, if you stay vibrating high and good energy, you know, it doesn't matter who comes against you, you will still be blessed. And things always tend to work out the way that they were supposed to in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. And this is my energetic pull on if there was a blackout for the VMAs, what would occur? I'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a good day. This reading is adjourned.